Hey, hello. I just wanted to share a little bit about my paper Crete making process with you today. I don't know if you can see me. I'm not sure how the lighting is, but uh, I'll go into more later. I made a lot of that structure there uh, with some paper Crete, and I'll be sharing more of that in future videos. If you want to be kept updated, you should subscribe. I think it's down there somewhere that red subscribe button, but uh, I start with paper, shredded paper that I get anywhere I can get. It looks usually like this. Sometimes it is a finer shred, sometimes it's less shredded. That doesn't really matter. I just get it because it's free and it's waste product anyway and it saves me one a little bit of the labor. So then I stick it in this big bucket and I mix it with water. I mixed this about an hour ago. I let it set for a little while so it gets a little softer. And then I bring my big heavy duty drill with a, what is this called? It's a uh, plaster mixer. It's a nice heavy blade. I've used some other blades and destroyed them in pretty short time. So I recommend this blade. It lasts pretty well. And this mixer is pretty inexpensive at Harbor Freight. That's where I get mine. This is my second one. It's, uh, they do burn out after a while if you're like me and you abuse the crap out of them. So, uh, usually I wear ear protection because it's kind of loud with tunes, but I didn't charge up my ear protection. And uh, I just wanted to give you a quick demo. I'm going to show you a few minutes, kind of how it's done, and then skip ahead in this video or end the video. I'm not sure yet which. So, uh, yeah. Here we pieces of it that are not very mashed that I'm going to try to bring up to the top by this kind of rotating motion and I see I have a good amount of water in there not too much but it's covered just covered with water so I can see it get smooth and basically I'm the smoother I get it the smoother my building material is going to be in the end and paper crete will withstand like I could just mix that up basically I'm going to mix it when I get it to the consistency I want I'm going to put a a couple of buckets full of like one gallon buckets full in a five gallon bucket with about a gallon of lime putty that I've pre uh, soaked from last fall but you can use just lime powder or make your own lime putty with lime powder uh, from like Home Depot and then also about half a bucket of Portland cement powder which I still need to go get I mix all that up Sometimes I add a little bit of borax, which just helps keep the paper safer from, if, especially if you're worried about termites or anything, which we don't really have here, but we have ants and other things that could eat your paper, uh, even though it probably make them sick with the lime. But anyway, borax is supposed to help with that. Sometimes I add a little pumice or pumice powder. You can add various other powders that you've probably read about. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make a batch and add a little bit of acrylic paint or glue because I want to make a ring of co a colored ring, a small controlled colored ring. So I'm going to take this to a pretty good mashed consistency and then I'm going to mix some of it into a water resistant, highly colorful batch and I'm going to mix other of it into a building batch for some of my food dog structure which maybe I should show you behind me here here you go so there's the food dog up there and it still needs so that collar there needs some finish work and then you can see where I started putting finish there I'm gonna match this hole outside with more finish work and the face needs a little more fill in before it gets finished work as well so all of that is gonna get done with that amount of mashed paper and uh, I'll turn it into beautiful, colorful things when I'm done. I hope you are turning your world beautiful and colorful, mashing it up. Peace.